Hello there. Today I will be doing my review on the Lego Marvel set Escape from the Ten Rings. It is set number 76167, comes with 321 pieces, and is rated 7 and up. This set is inspired by the upcoming Marvel movie Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. This set features four minifigures based off of Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, including the titular Shang-Chi, along with Wenwu, Razor Fist, Katie, and an animal-based figure named Morris. It also features two weapon systems, which are a disc shooter and a spring shooter, along with an SUV and two motorbikes for you to battle it out in. The shooter weapons that are included are a disc shooter and a 1x4 spring shooter that launches arrows at whatever is in its sights. Overall, this has a lot of nice play features and a lot of potential, and I believe a lot of kids would really love this set, especially if they're a fan of any of the Marvel movies. Now without further ado, let's get into this review, starting with the box. As we look at the box, we can see the great box art on it. As I said, it's rated 7 and up. And overall, you can see some of the nice figures, including Morris, Shang-Chi, Wenwu, Katie, and Razor Fist. Looking at the back of the box, you can see some of the nice detail overall, showing it in action. It was one of those uh, push-in uh, boxes where to open it instead of tape, which is interesting for a box of this size. But overall, nice detail on the box. Getting into the minifigures, starting with Shang-Chi, and you can see a lot of nice detail on him. He doesn't have any leg printing or arm printing, which is disappointing, but overall the torso and back printing are really good. He does have a double-sided head, as you can see, which is nice, kind of a angrier face, along with a smirk, which is pretty common for figures. Overall, a nice figure. Would have liked to see some more printing, but in a $40 set, this is probably what you can expect most of all in someone like this. Now we have the villain of Shang-Chi, which is Wenwu, Shang-Chi's father, aka the Mandarin. And this figure is very nice. Uh, no double-sided head, which is interesting because all the other figures do, but has some very nice printing on his legs, torso, and back. Very good figure. And now we have Katie, played by Aquafina in the upcoming Shang-Chi film. And overall, this figure is also very good. Has some nice leg printing, uh, also back printing. She too has a double side head, so for whatever reason, Wenwu, like I said, is the only figure that doesn't. Uh, comes with a crossbow, and really nice figure in her uh, robes. And now we have Razor Fist. And he looks pretty cool. So obviously they didn't opt to create, you know, a new hand mold. Because overall, he's not supposed to have, you know, a minifigure type hand. He's supposed to just be a razor in his hand. But Lego obviously decided not to do that, which makes sense. Uh, does have some nice printing. Double-sided head. And overall, he's a good figure. Just, you know, it would have been cool if they created a, a specific mold for him. With, like, a sword in the hand slot instead of a hand holding a razor. Lastly, we have Morris, which is like an animal type mold almost looks to be like a tiny dragon pet or something but there's no printing on it which I'm just gonna assume is inaccurate I I'm gonna assume it we haven't seen anything in the trailers but I'm gonna assume it has eyes it has some level of color in it but if this is accurate then it's accurate but I, I'm not sure on this one now on to some of the main play features of the set it includes a weapon stand with two daggers a spear and a lawn sword which is pretty nice to get it also features a two different motorbikes that are subtly different based on their stickers. They both have uh, Ten Rings logo stickers on both of them. Just one has a blue, while the other has a more pink logo on it. And overall, they look very nice. As you can see, I placed Razor Fist on this motorbike. You can place, obviously, uh, another figure on the other motorbike. The wheels move with the bike, which is of course very nice. We have the second motorbike, like you said. The only difference is it has more of a pink glow on the sticker and does the same as the other motorbike. There's no differences other than the stickers on it. The 
other main vehicle we get is an SUV, uh, which is a very nice vehicle design. You know, it's a scaled down version of an SUV. It's obviously not going to be this small in terms of minifigure scale, but it's a very nice uh, addition to the set. has some nice sticker detail showcasing it being uh, damaged, whether that's gunshots or other damage is unclear. But, you know, it's just a typical vehicle that you would see in a LEGO City set or otherwise. Uh, there is enough space for one minifigure to fit inside the SUV. And on the box it showcases Katie being the one inside it. So I'll just throw her in there. And as you can see, she fits in perfectly. You can close it up. And it looks very nice having the figure inside the vehicle controlling it. There's not really much else to say, you know, it's just a nice addition to the set, you know, is a necessary addition, uh, I'll probably get into that later, but overall, you know, it's it's something to add to the set and uh, adds to its value. Now on to the final play features of the set, which are the disc shooter and the spring shooter. They overall look very similar in design, just different in what they're shooting, so as you can see, the disc shooter shoots the disc, uh, just shot it at... Uh, back so it would go a farther distance than what it looked like there then you can see the spring shooter again pretty typical in a lot of sets including Star Wars so you know how these would work and overall very nice additions to the set you can pretend they're shooting at the SUV or the motorbikes now on to my final thoughts on this set overall this is a very nice set and it contains a lot of the crucial figures uh, for the upcoming Shang-Chi movie at a $40 price tag in Canada, and I believe $30 in the United States, to me, it's still a little bit overpriced. At just 321 pieces, you are paying, in my opinion, for the figures. Uh, the vehicles, the shooters, and the motorbikes are all nice additions, but it's the figures that are the main draw to this set. So if you can find this set on sale, that would probably be your best bet to get this set, especially if you are mostly interested in the figures. Uh, the set itself, it's nice. It it's has a lot of nice play features that I'm sure kids would love, but if you're just a collector, it, it's not going to provide a lot of value to you other than for the figures. With that being said, I still like the set. I just wish the price was a little bit less, say $35 Canadian, $25 in the U.S., let me know your thoughts down below. This has been Lego Dynasty. I appreciate you guys all watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And have a great day, everyone.